Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this lesson, we will examine how to create tab stops in Word documents. This can be useful when creating an organized list in a Word document. For example, suppose that you had to create a document that listed the names of the people in the company and also in which department they worked. In this case, it may be helpful to create a document that contains two columns of information, one for the names of the people and another for the names of the departments. Using tabs in your Word document can allow you to easily accomplish this task. While it is more common to insert tabs into your document prior to writing the lines of text, tabs can be inserted either before or after text has been written. Tabs can also change from section to section within a single document. Each line in a document can have its own unique set of tab stops. So in summary, tabs do not have to be placed in a strictly uniform fashion throughout your entire document. Before you add tab stops to a line in your document, ensure that you have the ruler enabled. Click on the View tab within the ribbon, and then in the Show group, make sure that the ruler has a check next to it. Once you have the ruler turned on, you will be able to see the Tab Toggle button at the far left end of the horizontal ruler. It is called a toggle button because when you click the button, you toggle between the various types of tabs that are available for use. They are Left, Center, Right, Decimal, and Bar. In addition to these buttons, you will also have buttons that allow you to set the first line indent and the hanging indent. Since these last two buttons are redundant and have already been discussed in introductory word, we will focus on this lesson on the use of the tab buttons. To insert a tab, click into the line where you will type the text or select existing lines of text to which you want to add tabs. Then click the tab button in the horizontal ruler until its face displays the type of tab that you want to insert. If you want to know which type of tab is currently selected, hold your mouse pointer over this button and a screen tip will display the name of the tab type. Next, click into the horizontal ruler at the position at which you want to place the tab. The type of tab that you insert affects the way in which the text will align when entered next to the tab. Therefore, left tabs will left align adjacent text right tabs will right align adjacent text, and center tabs will center align adjacent text. The decimal tab aligns numbers by their decimal points. The bar tab, which is often used in conjunction with the other tabs, simply draws a vertical bar when you tab over its position within the line. It does not in any way affect the placement of the text. To remove a tab from the ruler for a selected line or lines, First click into the line of the document that you wish to change, or select the lines that you wish to change. Then, click and drag the tab stop that you wish to remove from the horizontal ruler and drop it into the document area. That will remove the tab stop from the selection. Using the tab button, we can then move the title description for the employee over so that it is aligned with our right tab stop. You can also reposition tabs that you have added to the ruler by simply clicking and dragging the small black icons of the tabs shown within the ruler to a new location. You should also be aware that if you set tabs for a line of text at the end of your document, when you press the Enter key to move to a new line, the tab stops that you created on the previous line will be automatically added to the next line. If you no longer want to have the same tab stops, you will need to remove them from the new line by highlighting them and then clicking and dragging the tab stops out of the ruler. Type Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.